Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Empire Hunt. It's the High Priestess. The modifiers are a little bit icky. We've got togetherness on, which isn't great. So I've gone with the Warlock on using Top Tree, Void Walker. Rift is going to be very important. Usual weapons, you can see them in the video there. I'm going with a War Mind build. So one of the most important things here with togetherness is Fire Team Medic. So if I break an over, if I break a War Mind cell, I'm going to get healing instantly. High, I've got high recovery to get my rift back as fast as possible. Xenophage for making war mine cells. And, and as I say, if you're interested in the rest of the mods that I'm using, just pause the video on that and have a look at it. So, when you first get in here, you're going to be... It's kind of a strange one because you're kind of in an open area. There's things going on uh, over to the left. But basically, you've got this wave of ads and an overload champion. So, we're going to do a lot of our work, if we can, from range to... You know, with togetherness on, it's about a 20 second, 20 second limit to getting your health back. So we, we want to make sure that we're not putting ourselves in any danger before we actually can get our rift back. It's a couple of shanks, but these two, these two elite snipers, these elite, elite vandals, they're the ones to watch out for. Now, overloads. Kind of the way I always like to deal with overloads is, if at all possible... I don't like to, when I stun them, I don't like to put heavy on them because then you increase the chance of them teleporting and when they teleport, every time they teleport, they're going to get health back. You want sustained damage. So you can see there, crack, 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 see how much damage he's taken from the from the, the grenade and the scout rifle. And because I've got surge eater on, every time I stun him, I get my grenade back. So on this first overload, I want to keep my grenade because the next section, the grenade will sort out a bunch of elite enemies. Collect your ammo, I've also got Spoils of War on, so every time I finish a champion, I'm going to get heavy. So I should be able to synergize my heavy and basically never really run out of it. Grenade there should sort out all those enemies. There's an invisible invisible marauder that might, as you can see there, he might need one or two. I just merely have to finish him. And then move on to the next section. There's a couple of areas, maybe about two, two or three that... that require a bit more attention than the other ones the the rest of the areas are kind of very similar to to other other activities you know just stay safe watch what you're doing better range prioritize enemies the these other two or three areas it's a bit more than that because because the enemy placement is so strange and this isn't one of them this area here you've got two void enemies who will fight each other so i i like to put I like to put a grenade as close to the middle of them as I can because they will fight each other. Unless, of course, this dude. That, that, this is the only really nasty kind of overload you've got to deal with. So, exactly the same way. Sustain damage. St stop him. Put a grenade on him. Sustain damage. But this guy charges at you. You can see here I'm taking a lot of heat. Uh, managed to stop him. Couple, couple of xenophage and then finish but that that position where i finished him from that position where i was attacking him it's really good if he comes out in the open so i have got a rift if i feel like everything's going to get a little bit dicey i've got a rift so now because there's, there's there's quite a few enemies i've got another champion around there but i've got reasonably high discipline and i've got controversy on so as you can you'll see if i do get multitude of hits on enemies i'll generate a lot of my grenade back now i'm going to try and make a one mine cell because this is because of the amount of enemies here just there we go i know i made one there but now i'm getting another spawn in so if if i can find this one mine cell and break it i'll kill all of these enemies so we're going to go around here when when the second wave spawns in they will immediately see i've got another one there which will just clear all the ads in this area out when you take out so many of the enemies you will get that second spawn so just be wary of that now we're getting more more ads before the the barrier before the overload sorry so just again prioritize enemies the elite snipers are the, the elite vandals are the ones to watch here so i'm just gonna charge a grenade put that over there And hopefully that will we need to take that uh need to take that servitor out because the servitor will block the I'll just use Xenophage. Xenophage will go through a red bar shield, no problem. And we'll we'll stop him. We can break the warming. 
You see how much damage it's done to him. Now I u I've used a bit of heavy. I have got heavy there, but what I'm going to try and do, put myself a little bit in harm's way. I just do two. Now you'll see there I went ADS and then I hit fired. I find that the, the fire rate on Xenophage is different when you ADS to hit fire. You can fire faster with hit fire. And obviously I can keep moving forward as I'm firing, which when you're do dealing with an overload, especially when you've stunned them from, from a, a distance out, then uh, that's what you want to do. So I've put on, I've put, I've put a, a grenade on. You can see there I've took this. There's four servers here. I want to get rid of those servers. They can be a pain in the backside. Once you take the shield down on a red bar, it literally is just one hit. And I done that kind of push because I knew I had heavy there. Got my grenade back. I'll just toss that over there. Ads are running into it, which as you can see, I got 90% of my grenade back. Just because it hit those enemies. Just finish him off with a scout rifle shot. Push up here, I've got heavy. I've also got a grenade. Will just allow the grenade to do its work. Use use the heavy. I like to keep heavy as much as possible, especially for these, and especially because I'm not using the the weapon that shall not be named, uh, and I'm not using it because you know I'm trying to find a way to do stuff where people can where I'm not skipping past all the all the enemies. I'm actually killing them all. I, I I'm a big believer that. You really shouldn't do those kind of skips if you if you haven't actually learnt the activity because it, it, it's counterproductive. If you've learnt the activity and you know exactly how, how the spawns work and all that, then do as many skips as you like. But if you don't, then I wouldn't. So you've got this Void Minotaur, but you've also got, you'll see, I've got to mess about here a little bit. You see there that Brig, he's the, he's, he's the guy. Brig has been stopped. He's been, uh, he's been shielded. So... This was about, I think, maybe my third run of this. I never done it on Master last time, so I, I didn't actually know how this, this whole activity worked out. But what I worked out very quickly was, especially with this run, because you'll do this run in, in, in uh, as I say, this was the third run I'd done, and this was the first time the brig was actually shielded that long. I backed away, I'd done a few things, and then, then I worked out, once I get my rift back, I maybe should go to the left hand side. There's a little bit of cover. There's a little bit of cover, so maybe if I go to the left hand side, maybe I'll be able to actually take out this uh, champion so that I so I can attack the brig. Now, this is a safe spot back here. I'll show you I'll show you when we when I get the the champion done. So as you can see, I'm looking want to go over that left side because I can't do anything to the brig. The brig is the brig is, is the thing here. The brig is the, the, the danger in this area. And as, I, as I've already said, this was the first time I actually seen the brig being shielded for this long. So we're going to go over to the left hand side, even if you go up here, which is where I've done it before. See, you just take too much heat. So, eventually... I went over to the left hand side. <laughs> I don't know why I still haven't went there. Uh, and when we go over to the left, I'll wait for my rift to come back. When I go over to the left, we'll take out the first champion and then we can deal with the brig. So I'm just I'm just making sure there's nothing else there. It's just us and, and, and the champions. Now, you really have to go, this barrier on the left, you really have to go tight to the left hand side, you see? So you can't get hit. So I'm just moving, just really, I just want to see if I'm going to get hit. And then just move tight up here if I need it, put the rift down. And then what I'm going to do, crouch and get this champion down. So two shots and then just go over the barrier. And then as soon as I'd done that, I wasn't interested in killing the barrier. You know, that wasn't what I was interested in. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of heat. I was more interested in the barrier thinking that there was no point in shielding the, the brig. So if you come back here, you can see I took a bit, bit of heat. If you come back here, this, this pipe here. So we're just going to put it on. And now, the, now that we've broke the brig, now he's got, the brig's got a crit point. This is your safe zone for actually damaging the brig. 
The break will go airborne and start firing these solar bomb things at you. These uh, area of effect. They, they are really nippy. They will kill you with practically one hit. <clears throat> I can just stand here and just crit away with my primary because for whatever reason. There must be a range. They must have a range. They can't fire beyond. I can just stand here and crit away with my primary. I'm not going to waste too much heavy. As soon as you do that, you're going to be left with two barriers. So, push over to the right hand side. You see here. Uh, sorry, the left hand side and kill the low one. They'll always do this, they'll always separate like this. And we're just this was a this was really really bad. I never got the heavy before it went off the edge, but it's cool because we've got two, 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 two barriers. I done I done the melee because obviously the melee gives you uh half your grenade back on impact. You don't have to kill, it's just do damage. And now finish this champ, get my, my heavy. And move on. So, so the the crux of this is, you just want to take that brig down, and then you can move to the back. Just whittle the brig down with primary, and then you can push the two barriers. If the two barriers are on the same edge, I'm just looking for heavy. If the barriers are on the two edge, then go to the same side, both of them are quite close together. Then go over to the other side, and just get them to separate. So. Move into this area, we have got an overload here, but I'm going to take these shanks down and there's some invisible marauders just around the corner. So I've got my grenade, I'm just going to charge it and just throw my grenade down on them. Just let the grenade take them down. And now it's just us in the, back, uh, us in the overload. So again, it's, 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 it's the same, we're just going to stop the, the overload, charge a grenade, throw the grenade up on them, reload, and then just... As you can see, I'm strafing left and right just in case those... Because if those shots hit you... Well, they do hurt, you know, and because you're not getting health back, it, it's it's not a good day. So a couple a couple of xenophage finish, get my heavy, and I'm out of here. Now we're coming up to one of the parts that is a little bit tricky. Now one of the the part that is tricky. This is the part that's tricky. I actually said there was like two or three. That brig part is one of them. This is the other one, right? So you drop down, and then you're faced with a, a section where there can be four barriers. Drop down here, and then there's a section where there's four barriers. Four. It's ridiculous. So just push in up on this box, up here, and there's like two little things here. You can just crouch down here. I'm going to take all the shanks, because bad day having those guys shoot at you at the same time. Sometimes that shank, I've found more often than not, that shank will drop heavy. You'll have two your side. You just want to get rid of those. Now, we're onto these guys. So, there's a lot of enemies down there. So, I'm just going to whittle one of these down. Just want them barrier to come up. And as soon as one of them comes down, <clears throat> I'm just going to keep whittling it down. Just make sure you're prepared for it to take the barrier down. And then, if, if needs be, if you just want to clear one of them, just put... Just put some heavy on top. You can see one of them was shielding the other one. I managed to just clip it there. And I got a one mine cell. Which will clear any unblocked, any untethered adds. Now what will happen here, you've also got you've also got a, a, a champion here. He's not, not really a champion, an arc shielded guy. Uh, he, what you can do, you'll, you'll see me do it as well. Because he's got an arc shield, that's why I went with the arc pulks. So, again, we're just going to take this, because once you take these two barriers, you're going to get more barriers. See them coming in? Uh, a champion has, I'm just going to shoot that, and that takes care of a lot of the adds down the bottom. You're going to get another barrier. Now, what I noticed was, the other times I've done it, I got another two barriers. So, I don't, I don't know why I never got two this time. I'm not complaining, but... Uh, Maybe it's got something to do with the amount of ads that are lying around, or I, I don't know. But I definitely only got, I definitely only got one. I think I only got one this time. So just take that guy down. You just want to get this barrier. Take, put his shield up. Now, as you can see, what I'm trying to do, you'll see it. I'm just trying to break the the champion shield. I'm waiting for rifts and stuff and grenades. Try to break the barrier shield. So it will stop tethering the boss. The boss has got an arc shield, so I can kind of do a bit of damage to, to the boss when he's unshielded. Just at this time, I'm just taking down the shanks. 
and then we'll do the same thing again just make sure that you're prepared the last thing you want the last thing you want is to be uh, is to do good damage to the boss and the champion and then the champion the, the champion just regen you see there I'm just trying to go from one to the other because the barrier champion is not the problem here he's the problem now when it's due, when you're just left with him he is gonna teleport nobody's business constantly be teleporting every time you get him about halfway down he's gonna teleport and I mean when I say halfway down I mean shield you get shield halfway down he's gonna teleport so now I'm, I've dis I did harbor I did harbor aspirations to finish that champion but just this boss is just the worst and I didn't want I could have bust my super I didn't want to I wanted to keep everything that I had I wanted to keep I want to keep heavy I want you so so what I'm gonna do is we still got another brig we still got a lot of other sections to go through so I'm not really wanting to bust it all on one kind of captain but if you had a lot more heavy than I've got then yeah as soon as you break his shield down if you can stop him from running because you can see he will run he will run till he gets his shield back and then the minute you break his shield his shield halfway down oh man he's off so I'm just looking I've got I've got a few bricks of heavy there just going up here to see if I've got anything I don't oh, I've got a brick of heavy up here I I I didn't really want to chase him about because his, he's he's wor the worst the worst enemy to tie down in this this empire hunt. So I'm just whittling him down. As I say, if probably I should have just heavied him. I should have just bust him with my heavy and not picked those up. But the first time I came in here, it was him that stopped the run. Fired my super and he teleported out the super. You see there, the minute you throw something on him, he's off. He's too, he's he's a very mobile uh, ad. Very, very, very movement heavy. And he would just um, run, into, run into cover. And the minute he gets his shield back, he's coming out swinging. So we're just whittling his shield down here. This is where I probably should have went after him with my heavy. But, I mean, the scout rifle... I've spoke a lot about this scout rifle. It is really good. See, he's not getting any joy behind there, so he's run all the way to the back of the map. I, th I don't know if you can class that as good AI or a really bad. It's really bad for us, I suppose, because that that kind of uh, the overlords can do that as well. You know, run away at will and. You know, I mean, look how fast he moves. And he's going backwards. I mean, that's a moonwalker there, boy. Uh, so, just break his shield. I, I kind of felt here that he was going to go. If I could put some shots on him, he was going to go. At last. So, that this section is probably... This is the section I had the most problems with. Uh, simply because of the teleporting ads and... You, there is a there's a good chance you are going to get four barriers there. Two and then two. So, as I say, just whittle the barriers down. The minute you break one of them, if, you, if you've got a war main cell, if you've got a grenade, just throw it down, kill any ads that aren't, that aren't tailed, and then rinse and repeat. Now, I actually got hit really hard here, and I didn't expect it because this hadn't been a problem for me. So the way you kind of do this is get, get all the ads to kind of spawn in, Move back up the stairs so the brig can't hit you, and just take out the take out the shanks at will. And then what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to use the overload champs at the back to get my grenade back, so I can just keep putting the grenade on the boss till he's till he's close, till he's see I've hit him there with a grenade. Now I'm looking for the overloads. That was I got hit. I didn't expect to get hit that hard, but I actually get hit harder in a, in a second. I was like, ooh boss is like on point and he puts me like one shot so as you can see I'm just just trying to keep getting my grenade back and then I throw my grenade and just keep doing that until the boss is very close to being to being killed not bother about finishing an overload here got my grenade see it's there we go so close 
he really was on point with his shots because he hasn't been doing that to me. So I'm going to wait for my reft. When I get my reft, I'm probably going to try and finish him. So I've got, I've got my reft. Give me a bit of health back. I'll throw a grenade. Uh, I was going to throw a grenade. Wait for it. I didn't realize I'd done that much damage to him. So the idea is just keep using the, the two, there's two overloads at the back keep using them to get your grenades back and just hammer them with grenades and then when when he stops doing this attack you can see I'm just waiting for him to come down then I'm going to bust some heavy on him because I know I'm going to get heavy I'm going to kill one of these overloads just with the scout I'm just going to whittle, whittle one of these one of these down just using the scout all the way from the back here if you do it from the back they'll just you're not a threat they're not really gonna, you can see you're still doing good damage from here. Sustained damage with, a, with a, the Overload Scout will stop the Overloads from like running away. It's all about keeping sustained fire on these. That's why it's not really a great idea to change to Heavy. You can see it's, it might take, what, a couple of seconds more, but it's, it's worth it because it's, it, you know, you're not messing about with, oh, he's teleported, oh, he's, he's you know, Got his health back. Now we're going to push up just a little bit. So we want to he find somewhere where we can head glitch this champion. There we go. This is good enough. Once I get him stopped, you see I reloaded. And I'm just putting it on him. Crit, 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 crit. Just be careful with those shots. And then when he... When I can stun him, I'm going to push up a little bit. And just get up close where I can do a, a bit more of a head glitch. You can see there. That's a perfect spot. And then once I stun him the next time, I'll push up. A couple of Xeno. One Xeno, actually. And and it was really weird because I never got any heavy. Although I finished him. I don't know if it's because he was inside the box when I finished him. Great design there. Uh, so, nope, no heavy. No heavy line about. I have got... Another champion, but I'm not gonna bother with the the, the trying to isolate him. So this 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 boss here, I just you know, I do this work from back here because you've got all these ads that are gonna come in. You'll see. Just be careful because they are really aggressive. They will come out the door at you. They will chase you about. You know, and and I wasn't really too bored about them uh, because I felt like I could I could kill them pretty quickly. So if they came out, if push came to shove, she I was jumping up in the air. If push came to shove, I, I could have just switched to the Xeno and just done my damage while I was in the air. This boss eh, can be tricky, but we were cool there. So I've got full heavy. This this section, it's not it's not too bad. The section just before the boss, but I don't really want to mess about with it because it, it, the first run I ever had done on this, this was what stopped me. Exactly what just happened there. The boss shielded all the ads, and they just the shots just tracked me outside, and, and they are going to do a bit of damage. So I just decided it was probably worth, probably worth killing the boss using some heavy, hoping to get some heavy, because you know, tool tip, always best to go into a boss fight with full heavy. You know, but I, I don't think that's that's like top level advice. I think it's just common sense. So we're going to have a look. Did we drop a heavy brick? Uh, pretty close to having full heavy anyway. Now we're at the boss. Now, the annoying thing about the boss is the, you have to move, but the boss will freeze you as you move. And he'll, he actually freezes me in this run twice. Right? But both times I felt I knew I was going to get frozen because I was too late with my movement. So, rift down, ads coming in, just put a grenade down. Any ads that. If you feel like you're being overawed by the ads, use your Xeno. You know, get a war mind cell, use your Xeno. So, I've put my super down on the boss, and now we've got these coming in. So, we've got these three, we've got these three uh, servers coming in. So, I'm just going to use my Xeno. So, oh, that always happens. There's always, there's always uh, a couple of ads that go over to the other side. So, with... The way this boss fight works, the, the actual way it works, just go over to the other side, and we're hoping that uh, 
we get over the other side before he freezes is the way this boss battle works. I can use my Xeno because I've seen heavy. As soon as you come in, you're going to get a wave of ads. And then when you take down the first health bar, as you can see there, we've, we've, we've cleared the first health bar. Then you're going to get these three servers. Once you clear these three servers, you're going to get another wave of ads. And then once you clear that wave, you won't get anything else ad-wise until you take the next the next uh, the next health bar off right that's the way it works in rotation so there's like a really high energy section a real hectic part of it where you you know you're going to get ads you're going to get servers yada yada and then in between the the the, the server and then the ads you, you, it's just going to be you and the boss. Now, where it comes, where the movement comes, you can see these parts here, these blast shields, if you like. That's what's going to stop the boss from from hitting you. So you see, I took out the servers, now I've got this wave of ads. No problem. Xenophage says no, and I, and I managed to get heavy. So I'm sliding out here, and then, oh, slide back. Sometimes doing that, you will get, you can see I nearly got caught there. Sometimes you will, but it's about timing it. If you feel confident, just take out one of them from here. If you feel confident, you can push it a little bit, but you'll hear, it's like a tingling sound. You'll you'll hear when the, the boss is going to do their attack. Now it's just me and the boss. Just break this. And you'll see the reason I broke it. I got half my health bar back. I didn't expect the boss to push me. So because the boss pushed me, the minute you move, the boss normally fires for super attack, like so. You want to get out of there. If you don't feel like you can make it all the way from the left to the right, jump into the middle, slide back. It's just about getting one of these shields in front of you and the boss. So I can see I've got heavy there, I'll slide out, try and get back, get the slide on. Now there's one time I jump all the way from the left to the right, and the boss freezes me before I've made it all the way to the right. What I, what happened was because I had good forward momentum when I got froze, there was no ads. There was no ads. I actually still landed on the other platform. It's all about the timing of the jump. If you feel a little bit more confident, you can push it a little bit more. But listen for that kind of ice forming audio. That's when you know the boss is going to play their attack. If the boss comes all the way over to you, you can actually stand pretty close to the blast, you know, cut right in close to the blast uh, barriers, and uh, it, it, the, the attack won't hit you. So I'll put my rift down. The Xenophage will break these shields with about three or four shots if you don't have... I'm just trying to let me give my grenade the most time... To, to actually uh, break the shield because the more time I uh, the more time I, I, I leave my grenade to damage the better chance I've got of getting another grenade back but you'll see there the boss encroached on me <clears throat> now the boss kind of does like to go to one side each time and, 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 and stick with it I'm just merely in to get my see I got I, I took a chance there because I wanted my grenade. Probably not a good idea. I should have just burnt my burnt my heavy. I, I would suggest not doing stuff like that, not charging all the way out there. But as I say, I felt confident that I you know I, I would be okay. Now I'm gonna get a wave of ads. As you see. Watch out for the invisibles, and we should get one of those. And that the war main cell. The reason why you use the Xenophage on the ads is to create that war main cell. Now I know that there's no ads hiding over the other side. Because we've, we've, we've cleared that. Big damage there. No, we, that's a whole wave done. And the reason why that was is because we've got Wrath of Rasputin. I believe, anyway. Because it took a lot of damage there. A lot more than he, than he did the first time. So now, I'm, I'm not going to take the chance. Just clear that that server no no we should be okay you see that server you see i'm being pushed and i've made it over i think it's the next time i think i think it might be the next time where i jump oh no 
No, no, maybe maybe it wasn't this time. Maybe it's now. Uh, maybe I didn't get caught. I thought I actually got caught as I was jumping across. Because as soon as I um, as soon as I break, maybe it's here. I'm waiting for it. it uh, maybe it didn't happen. Uh, I've got another wave of ads, and then it's just us and the boss, and that war mine cell just perfect. And now it's just us and the boss. Now I can melt the boss. So wait for maybe, maybe it's here. Maybe I jumped too slow. I did because I look back at him. Yeah, see what I'm saying? As soon as you see the boss, as soon as you hear that crisp that crystal noise, just get out of there. And and if you hear the crystal noise and you don't think you're gonna make it over the other side, just go to the center. And use the use the use the blast thingies on the center to, to kind of stop you from getting hit. Move from left to right, be prepared for the ad spawns coming in, be prepared for the, the servitors. Uh, if you've not got grenades, use the use the Xeno to take them down. <clears throat> use the Xeno on the on the the ads, and use the warming cell to clear the rest of them. And that's the run, guys. That's exactly how you do this. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Her legacy will go on. New champions will rise in her name. We must stay always vigilant.